All right, guys, we are back home in South Carolina, back from uh, Pennsylvania, the Paradigm uh, show out there. That was an amazing time. I think I posted that video right prior to this one. So you guys have seen that already, but that was an, an epic trip, epic people. It's just such a blast. Um, but today we have something pretty, pretty cool. So um, one of my flying buddies, Andy, you guys probably know him. I interviewed him. He's, he crashed a while ago, had a pretty wild crash. I interviewed him on that. And he's been in a, probably a few other of my videos because we fly together all the time. But he flies literally all the things. This dude, uh, he's a C-17 instructor. He flies for Delta and he flies paramotors. So he actually flew this morning and I couldn't make it out. And we were talking. He's like, well, I'll be flying the C-17 later. He's out doing some like uh, mid-air refueling practice. How badass is that? And um, he was like, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come find you and uh, we'll, we'll talk over the radio. So um, he's going to text me a little bit later and try to do a potential low pass or get close enough that we can have radio contact. I just have my little handheld radio. Um, but that's going to be the goal today. I'm going to get up in the air and try to find a C-17. Kind of sounds crazy when I say it like that, but that's what we're doing today. So come along and um, yeah, let's get in the air. Peace. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to get in the air. Um, my C-17 pilot buddy just uh, told me that they can't get approval to fly to this airport until 30 minutes after sunset because of some um, some national bird laws. I guess there's bald eagles around here, and the law says you can't fly C-17 near a bald eagle until 30 minutes after sunset or something. Maybe they go away. I don't know. That's the rule. So I'm going to push it until exactly 30 minutes after sunset today. So I got my strobes ready, my hunter strobes. And um, I'm going to go test out the air right now though, because I'm not about to sit on the ground for another two hours waiting. So I'm going to burn some fuel, test out my new Insta360 cam. Not flowing with that yet. So we'll give that a try today. And yeah, I'm about to get in the air and I'm excited. So see you guys. Well, all right guys. Of course, I forgot to turn on the camera, but uneventful launch anyways um, and we're out here just testing the air and it is I mean it's dead calm the wind just completely died off so uh, we're gonna go hang out by this lake a little bit and I'm gonna try out my 360 cam so I'm wearing a radio chest harness and the 360 cam fits right in there the catch funny use of the word there Wow, dude, I just got blasted in the ears by this radio. I'm monitoring the CTAF at the airport I just took off from. It's my buddy uh, Lee's coming in, and I want to hear when he gets here. And I had the volume turned up all the way and disrupted my eardrums. So I don't even know what I was saying, but 360 cam, it's a 360, 1R. Um, use my cruise control maintain some altitude here while I fiddle with this. Man, this makes me nervous. Uh, so the question about the 360 cam, is it worth it? You get cool footage, obviously, but it adds some, some workload um, to your editing. God, I don't have a leash on this. Ah, $500 camera hanging out. <laughs> Whoa! Dude, I bet this is gonna look sweet. All right, so yeah, we're on cruise control. We're hanging out, enjoying this beautiful day. And um, yeah, man, I'm excited. I don't know how this is gonna work. It's a clear day and C-17s are huge. So I should see it. I really should. Actually, I'm gonna sit on this. I'm not gonna hold it. Um, yeah, C-17s are huge, and they're gray, so they don't even blend in with the sky, um, especially if you have little clouds like this. But it's going to be 30 minutes after sunset now that I'm thinking about it. So it'll be dark anyway, so I'll be able to see his lights. Um, so I know this sounds crazy, but I can't imagine he's going to get very close. I'm going to keep an eye on him and then assume that those wingtip vortices just go on to infinity, and I'm not going to go anywhere near where they would be. Um, and I mean, if worse comes to worse and I just can't like safely get around them or something like that, I'll just land out. It's not a big deal. Um, 
So the, the only thing I'm excited about is talking to a C-17 <laughs> or I'm flying a paramotor. That, that's freaking cool, man. Um, even though he's my buddy and I you know, talk to him all the time, talking to him while he's flying a giant military jet, uh, that's just badass, man. <laughs> I'm excited. So, um, yeah, let's go uh, let's see how the, how the air is down here. What do you know? It's beautiful. Dude, what a beautiful evening. <laughs> I'm going to shut up and enjoy this flight. Huge gator. Whoa, dude. That's a big one. Oh, man. It'd be crazy if the 360 camp could get this. I'll fly over them. Stay, I'm going to stay high, though. Whoa. Dude, that's a monster. How fucking scary is that? Oh my god, dude, just a dinosaur swimming in the lake. No thanks. See ya. Back to the airport here, and uh, I'm gonna land and get a jacket, and then uh, my buddy he should be here in a minute, and we're gonna get all set up. Let's see what we got going on. Berkeley County traffic, ultralight paramotor inbound for landing uh, in the field just east of the ramp, Berkeley County. Felt really good until I dropped the wing on its nose. Um, yeah. All right. So, on the ground, I'm getting a jacket. I might go back up. To be honest with you, um, it's really nice up there, wind-wise, and uh, I might just wait for Lee while I'm in the air. All right. Catch back up with you guys in a moment. Peace. again and we have it's like 644 sunsets at 717 so um, Andy won't be here in the C17 until 30 minutes after sunset so hopefully this still happens if not I'll have to find something else to talk about in this video or I won't post it actually funny story when I took off some guy was sprinting toward me after I made my turn back after I took off uh, he's sprinting toward me and I'm I'm like, what the hell? And then I'm like, I keep climbing. I'm like, what's he want? And he's like looking in the bed of my truck. I'm like, all right, what's this dude doing? So I, you know, I came down. I thought maybe he's pissed off or something. I don't know why I always think that, but I came in like a low pass and I was like, what's up, buddy? And he, uh, he gave me the old, one of those. He was like, keep going, you know? I was like, all right, dude. But don't sprint at somebody after they just take off because that, to me, <laughs> means that uh, something's wrong and you should land so but anyway killed some time
County Traffic Ultralight Paramotor about a mile out uh, just south of the runway and I've got the Archer and the Bonanza in sight, Berkeley County. This will be cool. GoPro is going to do it no justice, but well, Lee is coming in for a landing here on runway 5 and he's a lot faster than me even when he's on approach. So he's going to pass me up for sure. He's down here. No way. The GoPro makes it look cool, but that's me. Way below me. I'm just starting to use a radio at airports, and this airport specifically really likes us talking to the traffic and um, making our our location known. So I actually really like it because I don't know, it gives me a sense of security, man. I I know where all the air, aircraft are. It's a, it's a good feeling, and they know exactly where I'm at. I heard them call uh, calling out that they had me in sight. Um, so it, it's a good feeling. And there's Lee coming down on my five. Right on center line. Beautiful job, the Berkeley County traffic ultralight paramotor approaching from the south. We're going to cross the runway at about 500 feet and set up the approach for landing in the field just east of the ramp. We'll remain clear of the active Berkeley County. So yeah, when we come into this airport, um, especially if there's anybody around like tonight, there's a couple guys flying. I try to keep my my flying and my uh, inputs deliberate everything is I'm not I'm not try I don't want to confuse any of the pilots as to what my intentions are so flying this direction setting up my approach for landing here um, I've got my strobes on you can see me and uh, I'm gonna make a left turn away from the runway so that I don't I don't spook him because he is doing some approach work tonight Dude, what a perfect night. I've been up and down a couple of times. Went out to the lake. Yeah, man, it's been gorgeous. Funny how you two. <laughs> yeah, he puts them all on there, so. Give me that name one more time. Tom Kubat, K U B A T. Okay. My, my name is on uh, my paramotor picture of it. Okay. All right. All right, hey, man. Buddy. Ooh, the bows. Excuse me. Clear! guys well that did not go as planned even a little bit so what a wild night um the original plan was to come out here and try to communicate with my buddy in his c17 um but it didn't end up working out he had delays getting on the ground i had to get out and do some uh, mid-air refueling practice things like that um but then my buddy lee came because he was going to come drop off a radio help me out um so i could record some audio on the ground and he was like hey well, let's just go fly and Maybe we'll see Andy in the air. So we went in the air. Our buddy in the C-17 tried calling us. We tried calling him. We, we couldn't get in contact. He was too far away. Um, and he had to go do some other things. We did end up getting him. And also, that guy that chased me down here um, that I flew back to see if you know he was mad or something like that ended up being cool, um, he ended up running back to his hangar, getting in his Bonanza, and taking off and trying to find me in the air, which is freaking wild and I heard him on the radio and for whatever reason he couldn't hear me which is strange because uh, my buddy Lee could hear me just fine um, and I was making calls but yeah he said you know it's a gap paraglider in sight so he just a wild dude dude's name's Luke he's cool as shit uh, I think him and his brother's got like nine bonanzas at this airport I uh, don't know why I need nine but that's pretty cool and um just another crazy adventure I don't I mean this stuff is, is amazing and I got to go out and fly with Lee we did some some pattern work uh, some night flying so just I don't know I'm lucky this was an awesome night so much fun of flying and meeting new people and things like that don't forget to like and oh I got him
dig that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Tom Kubot. Um, also, I do have merch, which is at uh, teespring.com slash Tom dash Kubot. Um, there's a link somewhere in this video in the description below, I believe, if you guys are interested. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, and until then, peace.